A speed walker walks with a speed of six kilometers per hour. In part A, we will use a table of values to determine the distance walked in the first five hours. At time equals zero, the walker has not gone anywhere yet, so the distance is zero kilometers. At time equals one hour, the walker has gone six kilometers. Every hour, the walker will walk an additional six kilometers. In part B, we'll write the distance function. The distance function is d of t equals six t. In part C, we'll graph the function. Plot the points and draw a line through them. It's possible for the walker to travel something like 8.2 kilometers, so the graph is continuous. In part D, we'll state the dependent and independent variables. The dependent variable on the y-axis is distance, and the independent variable on the x-axis is time. In part E, we'll write the domain and range. The domain is t is greater than zero since the walker begins at time equals zero seconds. The range is d is greater than zero since the minimum distance walked is zero kilometers. In part f, how far does a speed walker travel in 1.4 hours? Use the function d of t equals 6t to find the distance walked in 1.4 hours. Plug in 1.4 for t. Multiply to get 8.4. The distance walked is 8.4 kilometers. Note that the point 1.4, 8.4 exists on the graph. In part G, how long does it take for the speed walker to walk 15.6 kilometers? Use the function d of t equals 6t to find the time required to walk 15.6 kilometers. Plug in 15.6 for d of t. Divide both sides by 6 to get 2.6. It takes 2.6 hours to walk 15.6 kilometers. Note that the point 2.6, 15.6 exists on the graph. 